lots of guides and welcome to the FIFA News Network. This is going to be a weekly series where I round up the latest news about FIFA 15 and FIFA 14, what's going on in the community this week. So let's get straight into the action. The first big piece of news this week that was just announced today at 12 uh, p.m. UK time was that they have agreed, EA have agreed with the Talkers Super League to have all 18 teams in FIFA 15. This uh, comes off the back of the loss of the Liga de Brazil Next year, we will have no Liga de Brazil, so say goodbye to the, most of the five-star skillers down there, guys. But this is good news. We will have Fabache, we will have Besiktas, we will have Galatasaray, so we'll have more new interesting clubs to have in FIFA 15. This is good news. It's been welcomed by the community, mostly. But um, yeah, there are some people obviously going to be still a bit upset that the Liga de Brazil will not be there. But this is really good news from EA and definitely something to look forward to in FIFA 15. The other news that came out yesterday is that FIFA have agreed Full Barclays Premier League licensing. This is absolutely massive news for career mode fans and it will definitely bring a whole new level of authenticity and just realism to the game. So let's get go more in depth on that. This new licensing deal brings all 20 Premier League clubs um, all their grounds into it. So we're going to have Loftus Road, we're going to have Anfield, that's already in the game. But every single Premier League club its home stadium is going to be there. We're going to have the Britannia. This is going to be absolutely brilliant for the atmosphere in Premier League career modes. I mean, the graphics are absolutely brilliant. This deal is also going to bring along the uh, graphical work that comes before a match, as you can see there, with Manchester City's team. And for the first time ever, we will have goal line technology in FIFA. This is a really exciting move, and I cannot wait for it. Yesterday, EA also announced that they will have this new face scanning thing. So we'll have all the Premier League players will have in detail faces, as you can see there. The realism is insane. I mean, look at that Aguero picture. Look at the Eden Hazard here. And look also at David De Gea. These are absolutely... Uh, it, next gen is going to be so good for FIFA 15. And those faces, I mean, this is going to be as close as we are going to get to real life football i think in a game this is big news and this is absolutely brilliant for us fifa fans over the past week ea also announced that they will have full licensing rights for the syria ad uh, in partnership with tim the phone company in italy this is also great so in career mode we will have all the hoardings it's going to be really good I'm not too sure about the stadiums i don't know if we'll have every italian stadium i don't believe so but we will have all the advertising hoardings and everything you expect to go with the syria absolutely brilliant news as ea expand into um other leagues in other news the uh, italian cover star along with Lionel messi will be gonzalo higuain of napoli so two argentinians on the cover for you italian fans uh, as you can see the xbox one cover out there so it looks pretty nice in my opinion with the syria air logo there i've been your host mark i hope you enjoyed the video please do leave a like if you enjoyed and this is some very exciting news here on fifa news network thank you for watching and goodbye